This channel, Fiji Gossip, is to reveal the truth, seeing the unseen, hear the unheard. For Fiji, ever Fiji, we bring the truth to the light. Bula Vinaka. Welcome to Fiji Gossip. Today we gossip about USP. Why so much turmoil at the University of the South Pacific, asks Tomazi. Stay with us, for insights. According to gossip, when the current Vice Chancellor, Paolo Walia joined the USP, he demanded a salary that was out of his contract, such as backdating his contract. His claim was that, he started to study about USP, much before he joined USP. So, he should be paid even before his contract date. However, then PVC Winston, denied his request. As a result, a fight broke out between Winston and Aluwalia. Aluwalia thought, that the past Vice Chancellor, Rajesh Chandra, and Winston were good friends. So, if he can defame Rajesh Chandra, then he can win over Winston. Another point was, he assumed that Indo-Fijian staff at USP are in a group, and follow Rajesh Chandra. So, intimidating Indo-Fijian staff would be good, as this way, he can revenge Rajesh Chandra. He smartly acquired support from the student union group for him. Since it is a big group, it can be a good mouthpiece. He assumed that the staff union group has some Indo-Fijians at the executive level, and hence would not support him. Therefore, he used Libby to create turmoil within the staff union. As a result, the then president and his team resigned from the staff union, and Libby voted to the president. As a reward, he also gave Libby 26% of inducement allowance, even though she was a librarian, and not qualified for such inducement allowance over salary. He even denied many qualified staff for inducement allowance whom he thought that they can't be useful for him personally. So, this way he gained another mouthpiece at the staff union level. He then kicked all people one by one whom he thought belonged to Rajesh Chandra, even though they did not belong to any group, and were doing their work diligently. Then he promoted and placed his own underqualified people at positions, who were lacking quality and minimum qualification level, i.e., lower than the required qualification people were promoted. We will discuss details about such people, in the subsequent episodes. He also appointed, Director Human Resources, who did not meet minimum qualifications, at a salary of $250,000. This way, he acquired full control of staff appointments, increments and promotions. So, it is easy to see now, that how he controlled USP. Throw some food at dogs, and dogs will bark for you. Simple strategy. We will discuss these in detail in later episodes. Hope you liked our story. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Vinaka Vaka Levu.